<laughs> I'm Michael, and we're hiding behind this massive box. It's huge. I mean, it's literally, like, amazingly big. <laughs> this is Tidal Blades. Heroes of the Reef. Ooh, deluxe edition. And it's an odd size, too. I mean, it is... It is not just big. It is long. It's very long. Fairly, so, fairly thick. And look, it's got Ooh, even... It's got a cool map on the inside. And lots of minis inside because it's the deluxe edition. Yes, yes, yes. So uh, the deluxe edition, I'm going to move this out of the way. Well, let me say, it is by Skybound Games. Um, this is actually, it's actually part one of the title blade series. <laughs> this is part one. Part one. <laughs> this is just part one. And, and it plays one to four players. Yes, there is a solo mode. Solo mode. In 60 to 90 minutes. Oh my goodness, it's going to fall down. <laughs> Not if I do it like that. Wow. So, there are tons of tasty minis and inserts. It, uh, the inserts were all done by game trays. So, they're yeah. well done. Um, the deluxe edition also has a cool little dice rolling thing. Dice tray. And uh, little holders. Up upgraded tokens. L upgraded tokens, but not just that, but a tray to put yeah, your stuff there's in. There's a couple of them, but we only really need one with two players. Oh, oh it, it didn't went, save. It didn't. Oh. You had been talking was, so good so about it. I was so happy about it. I'll fix. You were talking so good about it. You're like, oh yeah, it's totally working. And then it was, it was working. And it was not when you start the stream. Oh well, I'll fix it. You keep talking. <laughs> I will keep talking. So, um, in this game, the primary currencies that we have are fruit and shells. <laughs> so, because that's what we work, we deal in. We deal in fruit and shells. <laughs> uh, fruit can be used to purchase cards from the market. Fruit can be used to roll additional dice on your turn. Um, shells can be used to... What can shells be used to do? So oh, yeah. To defend. To defend. <laughs> to block. Using to block. using your spell shield. Everybody starts off with a spell shield. Basically, yes. we are warriors. Right. Right? Trying to gain favor. Let me read the backstory. Because some people like the backstory. You, you could care less about the backstory. I like backstory. Let me take a few. All right, tell, here. tell us about tell it. Tell us the story. Welcome, aspiring heroes. Oh. It has been 15 years since the great battle. 15 years since our esteemed engineers from the Citadel of Time made their wrenching decision and created the Fold. 15 years since the last assemblage and ultimate sacrifice of the Tidal Blades. Now, I do like backstory. But I really have no connection with the title blades. I know a lot of a lot of people try to create their their story world and hope that people care about it. I don't I don't care much about it as long as it's thematic. I'm fine. Okay, that's but, fair. But I don't care anything about the story of the title blades. But I do like knowing why I why I'm doing what I'm doing. So time and space were twisted into a powerful powerful barrier to stop the onslaught of creatures from beyond the reefs. But today, the hard-earned peace is coming to an end. New monsters are ripping through the fabric of time. And the islands need protection once more. A tournament has been called. The arenas are ready, and contestants are now gathering from all over the island realm. To convince the judges of your potential, you will need to train day and night, compete in challenges held in the three arenas, and rise to the top of the champion board. You have four days. Will you do what it takes to prevail and join those truly worthy of the title of Title Blades, Heroes of the Reef. So basically, challenge accepted. Challenge accepted. So we start off with as level one newbies, basically, <laughs> with a couple of fruit and a couple of uh, shells. And we have, each of us has a cool character board. Hi, my name is Dust. <laughs> You're supposed to Echo. say, hi, Dust. So hi, Dust. Dust has just arrived in Naviri and has much to learn about its customs but she knows how to make the most out of every opportunity. It's always been her childhood dream to join the trades caravan and come to the Blue City. Her leader, Nyrock, wouldn't let her come along, so she trained harder and harder, challenging him to a sword fight every year. He beat her every time. One day, she'd, have a ha she'd had enough of watching the caravan leave without her and decided to prove him wrong. She simply started walking. She crossed the entire Droxani Desert on foot, a 30-day voyage few could endure. Nyrock was impressed by her tenacity and let her join his seat for, for the final mile so you know if you like switched over like right now they might not know that we switched to the overhead 
Look at, no, actually they do because they, so, they <laughs> it did move slightly. It just moved slightly. That moved just slightly. <laughs> so there's no trick in them. Um, so anyway, we have four statistics. We have spirit, which gives you stunt power. We have focus, which gives which lets us roll more dice the higher it goes. We have synergy, which lets us have more character cards. And we have resilience which lets us refresh and upgrade dice. Refreshing and upgrading dice is fantastic, let me tell you. It's critical. <laughs> they all start off at level one. It looks like it's a little out of focus, oh, doesn't it? It's okay. It's okay. Um, and so every time you get a level of this, this is going to advance to level two. Level two with an end game point. Level three. Level three with two end game points total. Level four, level four with three in game points, four in game points, five in game points, and that's as far as it will go. So currently, we can roll one whopping die whenever we do anything. One whole die. <laughs> um, if you want to roll more dice, you can eat fruit. For every fruit you eat, you can roll one extra die. Uh, stunts are cool abilities that you can have. They are like one-time uses, and you will learn them in the in the Chronoseum. Um, I can show you it. So, Ooh, the, this is the board. Yeah, <laughs> where is the board? There it is. So the Chronoseum is where you get your stunt cards. Um, you can let's say we all start off with two novice dice. Oh look, I rolled double wild. They each have a number of symbols on them, and so one of each, one of each attribute, and a blank and a wild. Yes. So, um. These dice can, when they're used, they will go over to, uh, half of my board is gone. After they are used, they move over to your spent dice area, and when you refresh them, which currently we can refresh how many dice? One. one. That's so lame. So, we refresh <laughs> one die and whatever die we selected. So, you're going to select this many dice. If you select active dice, none are going to refresh. If you select spent dice... One of these will refresh, and you can then upgrade the ones you selected. So if you need to up, if you need to upgrade the ones in your active area, you're not going to refresh any. Right. So hey, how do these upgrade? Well, you can upgrade a novice die to where is it? An initiate die, either red or blue. The red die has the two hot colors, you know, yellow and red. And the blue dye, orange, yellow, whatever. Sure. Um, and the blue dye has the uh, green and blue logos on them. Uh, there is still a blank side and there is still a wild side. So, um, what happens if you upgrade those? Ah, I'm glad you asked. If you have a red dye, you can upgrade it to what is called an elite dye that is red. And the blue has an elite die as well. They are red and blue with a border on them. Um, the the uh, elite dice have a, a single of one color, a, a single of the other color, and two doubles and two wilds, no blank. How cool is that? Uh, and after the elite die, you have to choose a path. There are four. Four different elite dice. Specializes. One for each of the abilities. They're all black. You can't really hop over, not easily anyway, from a blue elite uh, die to an opposite elite die. Not easily. Die. It's possible. It's possible. But it's not only likely. if you run out of dice yeah. and you need to upgrade, but you can't upgrade. So yeah. so, yeah. So it would be a super rare situation for it to be allowed to swap over um so anyway there are basically there is a red guild a green guild a blue guild and a what do you want to call that yellow or orange 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 yeah all right so no <laughs> Alexa, so they, they give you this handy um, player aid. It's really good. Which shows you all the dice as well. So you can see it all clearly and what faces they have. So you, you don't have to like look at the die itself to see what do I All the freaking do. time. Yeah. So you have this to do is that. a nice little player aid. I kind of wish they had one for symbols in the game though. So that's the one thing I think Whoops. it's missing is something for symbols. The symbology of the game. Yep. 
So and on the back is a nice little player aid. It tells everything uh, that goes on in your turn. Yeah. So, um, we are trying to basically score as many victory points as possible. We can do that in a variety of ways. You saw, already saw how to get some of the victory points on our attributes. Uh, we can also earn victory points by completing challenges. We each have some starting challenges. Basically, if we are going to do, if I want to do this challenge, you notice it's got the Chronoseum symbol. Oh, hey, here's the Chronoseum. So I can do a challenge in the Chronoseum, and if I roll at least one red die, I'm going to complete this challenge. Or one symbol that's red. Uh, one red symbol, right. Or question mark. Or a question mark, that's right. Yeah. Oh, look, there's one in a dotted line. What does that mean? That's if you're trying to push it. If you're trying to push it <laughs> and you make it, then you will get uh, an additional push on that attribute. For every attribute you roll that matches this card, you get to go up on those attributes one step. So clearly two steps is better than one step. I know, but so in the first game we played, I don't think I did that once. You didn't push it once. I didn't have focus, so I didn't have any dice. I didn't have any. I had all my dice in my spent area. I didn't have any dice in my. I just, I just never had dice that it was available, whether it be because I didn't have enough focus or oranges or. Uh. So, uh, if I remember correctly, pushing it also has another. Uh, I think doesn't it have an extra ability in the two-player game if you like push it in front of a rival or if you complete it in front yeah, of a rival. Yeah, I think they move back, right? I think they move back on the track. That is just for a two-player game, yeah, and I, like I've got some concerns players. with the rival. But we're going to play with the rival anyway. Right, Because right, right. That's, how it's that's what designed. you do. Yeah, for... Looks like you got a hair stuck in your glasses. No, it's just I'm in good. front of your glasses. I'm goo. You're goo. You're goo. So, if you complete this challenge, yay, you've completed a Chronoseum challenge, and you get to tuck it underneath your character board. You guys can't really see it, but there's like three different columns. I don't even really have room on my eyes, One for but... challenges here. One for challenges in La Mera Stadium. I'll do some and one for challenges in the Droska Ring. So, they all have different different symbols if you complete one challenge of each type hey you're going to get to advance on this champion board if you Yay. advance farther on the champion board you're going to get victory points if you are the farthest by the end of the game you're going to get another small amount of and at the end challenge of each round points. right the leader bonus oh and the leader bonus it's it's again one whopping point not a lot but it's something they add up um, yeah, plus, you only won by a few points. Plus, you're going to uh, score whatever at the bottom of this card. Usually, the, this number corresponds to the number of normal symbols here. One to five-ish. Uh, one to... It, I thought... Well, is there other five-point cards? Yeah, I think Wow. So. I know that there's five symbols, but it's only four mandatory. Uh, I thought I saw five, but maybe I'm wrong. Do you have all the expansions as well? I am not sure... I, it's just the deluxe, I think just the regular deluxe. I don't think there are expansions. There are different modes to play. Like There's an advanced play, mode. Like, legendary mode or something. It's, advanced. A, it's advanced mode. It comes with some advanced market cards, advanced challenges, and advanced monsters. But I don't think we have any expansion material. Right, right. So I didn't even know there were expansions already. Already, yeah, I didn't either. So, um... Oh, Derek is lurking while he puts together his anachrony stuff. We also nice. got our anachrony stuff Ooh. here. So, yeah. <laughs> Legends has played at least one board game each day for the last 22 days. Hey, that's on track for 365 or more, hopefully. Excellent. Excellent. <laughs> there is one expansion. It's Angler's Cove. It comes with character Sagashi. I don't think that we uh, have... We, we have the actual character in this Oh, box, that's right. We have... But we don't um, have the stuff for the characters. Right. We so. have the symbol and his discs. So, yeah. <laughs> we have him. We do not have his character card. We don't actually have the actual stuff, but we have his, uh, uh, in standee. Right. <laughs> like his, uh, all of his. Yeah. Um, so we do actually have miniatures, but to make it easy for you guys to see, plus it also makes for better pictures. For I, I, li I actually like the stand board guys a little yep. bit better than minis. <laughs> so we don't even have them standing up. We have them all just sitting out but here. But I like these little trophy guys right here. Yeah, they're really cool. Those, are, those are cool little like... Oh, yeah, we didn't even tell your story. Look at your cute little dude. He's so cute. I love him. He's the best. Echo. Oh, my God. Or Eco. I mean, that is I, so punkin. How do you not play with this character? That's my question. How do you? How would somebody play this game and not pick him? Is it Echo or Eco? So cute. 
I, I think, think it's Echo. I think it's Echo. I mean, Echo I, is a beta lod, a fact that in itself makes her a very unusual contestant. Beta lods generally stay in their sanctuary, well protected inside the Citadel of Time, where they use their incredible intellect to make complex calculations for the high engineers. But Echo is not like her peers. She's fascinated by the monsters and the outside world. It's just, she, it's like the Little Mermaid, <laughs> but it's like it's the little beta lod. Right. Yeah, she wants to be a little human or whatever these things are. So cute. And dreams of studying the fold and its mysteries. What she lacks in strength and experience, she more than makes up for in her, makes up for her outstanding mastery of shells and micronic manipulation. Micronic manipulation is time manipulation. So our characters have learned how to manipulate time a little bit. So, uh, and we'll explain that uh, when we talk about combat. All right, so on a turn, um, we are going to take our character. We have two actions that we will play for the first round. What? The rival. The goes rival. First. We're not going to talk about that right now. Oh, We're okay. going to talk about a basic turn. All right. Basic I'm not going to. I'm not going to actually play it. I'm going to talk about a basic turn. Okay. This is a two-player mode. Hopefully, players are playing it with more than two players because I think it probably shines with three and four players. Actually, I think three players is probably the sweet spot because it looks. It seems like four gets too crowded. Two is too uncrowded, and three is where it needs to be, at least according to BGG statistics and opinions right now. Yeah. So, um... No, not Mr. Echo from Lost. Oh, I don't I don't know him. He's awesome. Is he? He's so cool. So, uh, you take your character with your discs, uh, with a disc, and you will put it under... That's, oh, yeah, that's, that's mine. That's you. That's, I, am the, <laughs> I am the greenish teal looking thing. And you will place it on one of these locations. Once someone is at a location or has been to a location this round, nobody else can go there. So if I go here to the guard tower and I get one die, I'm going to be the only person to visit that location. So after I move my character on an action disc and I take the action, then I take, can take the island bonus. In the Carnosium, it's drawing a stunt card. Those are the Ooh. stunt cards that are going to give me a little one-time ability. In La Mara Stadium... It is to advance the boat and collect rewards. So wait, where's the boat? The boat's in the box. You didn't pull the boat I out? I forgot the boat. No. <laughs> hey, there's a lot to set up here. All right, so we have the boat. Yeah. So it starts out here. It's going to go around the board clockwise. You've actually cut out most of to. the board. My B, my B. So, yeah, you can see your lap, but you can't see the edge of the board. Whatever. <laughs> it's all right. <coughs> they get the gist. There's a, there's a lot to get into a there's little a, frame. And, I mean, the, the camera's as high as it goes. It's so. really high. It's really big. <laughs> all right, so advance the boat and collect the rewards. You advance here. A, hey, that looks like you get a stunt card. Get a shell. Move up one on the champion board. Get two fruit. Get a challenge, or one of these challenges, I believe. And get a novice die. And advance up one Ooh. attribute. Um. Notice if you go here on Racer's Bay, you're going to get to advance the reward, uh, advance the boat. Um, I believe you also get to collect the rewards on Racer's Bay. That's how we played it anyway. I'm going to double check that, and make sure. Where is Racer's Bay? Yeah, you you get both of the. You move it twice, and you get both of them. So here is a complaint. There is a rule. There is a rule book and an almanac. And so trying to find the the exact rule or thing that you're looking for can sometimes be difficult. The advanced rules are separated out into the almanac. The locations are separated out into the almanac. And all of the card overviews also separated into the almanac. So sometimes it makes it difficult to find what it is that you are looking for. Yes, move the boat forward one space and gain the reward it lands on. So yeah, it's it shows the symbol for advance the boat forward. But it's not always clear what the iconography means. There is not a page that has all the iconography on it. That's disappointing. Especially when the back page of the rule book could have clearly had it on there. Look at all that blank space that could have been used. Yeah, I think that's Come on, lot. Skybound. That's, that's, Druid City, you guys are better than that. That's that's one thing that... Oh, it's by Skybound and Druid City, so yeah. yeah. I should talk about druid city because you know they're both yeah yeah together yeah but yeah all right and hi james if you're watching <laughs> um <laughs> i did tell him about it so. yeah 
Um, so, uh, move to the location, do the location, uh, take the island bonus, and then attempt a challenge uh, if you are at a place. If that you can, dare. If you dare. Or if you are at the fold, notice that there are dotted lines here. As many people can be here as want to be here. If you're at the fold, you can battle a monster at the fold. Ooh, Vecco. Um, so, actually, one of these will start face up. Uh, a massive... Rick Sand is reminding us to add shells to our shield, which I don't know yes. if we're supposed to do. Obviously, yes. I, I did a quick job figuring out. Yeah, she, she did I, all I this before I got down here. Totally. I've been playing Far Cry New Dawn <laughs> and was doing that before he the... He never uh, helps me set up. I did not help her set up. I, mean, I figured she could she could do it all, but whatever. No. <laughs> How many do we start with? Uh, two? two extra shell, shells on the shell shield. Shell shield. Shell, shell shield. shield. shell I, shield I, I kept calling it shell. spell shield. <laughs> like you know, shell shield. Shell shield. <laughs> Quicksand missed it the first few games, and oh man, it does make a difference. We okay. didn't miss it on our time. That's and fair, that's fair. we use shells a lot. Because you can get a wild die easier with two on there. Right? Yeah. So that could help you. Um, oh, this is refresh a specific die? Yeah. Or all your it's dice? Not, yeah, it's refresh. No, this is infinity. This is everything. This is, uh, that's, that's, that's what I was that's looking. Just your, that's just your one. That's whatever However your many you can. resilience level. Gotcha. Yeah. I was like, wait a second. Those are different. All right, so you notice these have three spots on it. Yeah. So three different discs can go on there. Ding, ding, It's ding. the same location, but it's three different disc you locations. You get really good things for that. Hmm? You get, these are really good spaces. Now, the downfall yeah. of the Citadel at the time is that you can't You can't do, do a challenge. challenge because the challenges are just on the three islands. Right. So, stunt card, advance the boat, buy a card from the market, or gain a fruit. It's going to cost you whatever it says over here. Uh, looks like one fruit. <laughs> Or fruit and go back a reputation. Oh yeah, that's like rough. But, it's a but black you get a plus card. one on all of your all of oh, your. Oh my goodness! It's so good. So wait, strange wares you may keep. You may keep for later use. Oh, it's a uh, it's a special Show card. Show them on the mates because those are talking about them anyway. Da -da -da. So you can see them. So these come from the advanced set, and so hey, look at that. Um, so when you get dice, you can have a maximum of six dice total amongst your active and spent. Yeah. So that's important to know. If you have more than that at the end of your turn, you got to discard down. Discard. Dis die. Undie. Undie. <laughs> Undie. D die. I think that's a you have to ditch some dice. What? I think that's a little more focused. I don't know. I can't tell. I can't tell because you know what? The computer is way over there. Way over there. All right. So <laughs> moving these. So they all cost what they say on the side. Doesn't matter what order these go in. And the judge is going to go to a random location. Um, it kind of matters what order they go in because of the two-player thing. But that's okay. Because of the two-player. Um, if, like, if, if the blocker goes here, we remove that one. Yeah, but that's random. I know. I'm just saying. So it matters. Random is random. Random is random. I'm saying it doesn't matter as far as cost is concerned. Oh, you yeah, know, yeah. Sometimes it's like... Four for this spot and three for this spot and two for this. No. Oh, yeah, no, that's not right. No. All right, so this judge is just going to go wander amongst the islands, rotate amongst them. Alexa, give me a random number from one to three. She's not going to do it. Oh, that's right. It's one. Boom. So there are special rules if the judge is there. If the judge is there... I can't remember because we get those stupid rival rules and it always throws me off because the rival rules and the judge rules sort of get yeah, confused in my the head. Rival, so having a two player game, there's a lot of, a lot of changes. There's a, um, there's a lot of changes. Yeah. So it's hard. I don't even really, if I were to go teach this to a three player game, I'm not sure I would do a very good job because I don't know what the actual changes are. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, if the judge is there, you get if you win a challenge, you go up on the champion board. I do know that. Ah, much. there it is then. So yeah, so you'll go up one on the champion board if the judge is there. Yeah. Um, if you show off in front of a rival, and the then again, that is a two-player game thing 
then that's going to be something different. Yeah, um, I don't, and I'll talk about that when we talk about all of the I don't think the judge stuff. has to be present for you to do that. Though. I don't think but so. But I don't remember. But if the judge is there and you complete a challenge, you're going to go up one on the, the champion the champion, champion board. Yeah. You're going to gain a reputation. Hey, thanks for subscribing. Woohoo! Hey, guess what? We are going to get new emotes. <laughs> We have, we're it's creating, already there. It's already there. It's already there? Yeah. Hey, guys, if you're a subscriber, take a look at the, <laughs> got, at the emotes. Check out your new emotes. Yeah, we got one. He's so cute. The, we call him the Rainbow Booger. The Rainbow Booger. <laughs> Dr. Sun is Rainbow Boogering. <laughs> so cute. <laughs> so, he's not a Corsi Booger. No. He's the Rainbow Booger. But for those who aren't there to get the, the Corsi Booger... You know, now we get this. Now we and, get the rainbow and booger. And if we ever lose the purple booger. Then we at least have the rainbow booger. Then we at least have the rainbow booger. Yeah. <laughs> so. Um, Matt is on a board game skid. Too much Twitch, too much video game playing. <gasps> what? What? That's even, like a week. I don't even know what that means. So. <laughs> um, so if you're over here at the fold and you are going to battle a monster... Then you have to specify a number of dice that you are going to challenge against this monster. Of course, you can only go up up to your focus unless you eat fruit. Yep. Here's another catch. And this might be, I don't know, this seems a little harsh. But I understand why they do it. Every die that you roll to go after a monster, you're going to lose at the end of the battle. It's gone. It's gone. It's gone completely. If you match the symbols... You get to put your little tokens on there. So, um, at the end of the round, there is going to be a chance for invasion from monsters. That means after I have gone, um, it's a, it's at the end of our discs placement. At the end of our discs. So the first round we have two discs. The second round we'll have three. And fourth three. round we'll have another one. Yeah. Yeah. Or oh, start of the fourth round. Yeah. So, if we roll a one to five, whatever is in the inner reef is going to invade. Now, that doesn't mean it invades and goes. It invades and then goes back to the inner reef. Mm. And there's an invasion thing on here that uh, if you have not contributed to fighting this thing, you're going to lose a die. <laughs> um, now, wait, the, the two-player rules are different. I want to make sure I'm teaching this correctly. Again, the two-player <laughs> rules totally change it. <laughs> change everything about how this stuff is is done. Spud is like make, this game's an asterisk. <laughs> uh, the rules are the rules are an asterisk, um, and the rules are not bad. Don't get me wrong. It's just that when there's two-player rules added, it's like, you know what we told you about that? No, 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 no. no. Don't worry about that. We're gonna change it. No, yeah. Oh, come on. <laughs> so monster invasion penalties. Here it is. Um, all players who do not have at least one hit token on, uh, the monster is going to suffer the invasion penalty. So, Hey, even though this monster's not dead, I'm not going to lose a die. Now I might've lost a die already because I did damage to this monster, but I'm not going to lose a die for it. Every yeah. hit that I inflict is going to be worth a victory point at the end of the game. That's good. Like when this dies or when it flees, which, at the end of the round, Come everything is going to move down. Another one's going to flip out. It's going to go from here to wow. fleeing. And all of these, whether it dies or not, are going to be just be put over here for victory points. Right. One victory point per token. So, uh, if you kill this thing, you're going to get a challenge point. If you do this Higher armored damage, yeah. and it requires at least a blue... Uh, green symbol, uh, blue die, green symbol, uh, or higher. A higher die can do it. Um, but if you do either of those damages, you also get a challenge point. So, um, and I think that is just about it for all of the locations. Here you get to choose or draw two challenges. Mm -hmm. um, so you can choose from here, you can draw from there. You mentioned this, right? That's what you're saying. You get uh, oh yes, I did not mention that. Okay. So if you have, you notice that this has the same symbol as the Droska ring. If you have completed a Droska ring challenge, you are going to get a bonus die based on the number of Droska ring challenges you have completed. So 
if you've completed one Droska Ring Challenge, you're going to get a free novice die. That's good because, and so let's say you say, I'm going to, I'm going to commit zero dice to this fight, yes. but I've completed a Droska Ring Challenge. Yes, I'm still going to be able to do one die worth of damage. Yes. Hopefully, as long as I match one of those symbols. Right. So, uh, if you have completed two challenges, you're going to get the next level up die. Uh, I believe that is, that's how it goes. Three, four, uh, yeah. you'll get the appropriate type of die uh, against this massive hagworm. Um, so it's good to have many of one type, but it's also good to have several different types because then you get the two point champion push. The, the what do you call it? Reputation push. Champion board. On the champion board. Leader yeah. board. I don't know. Whatever it is. So, oh, hey, there's a, that's what I was about to say. Oh, There's a okay. big twist every time you roll the dice, whether you roll the dice for challenges or whether you roll the dice for these monsters, you're going to have to roll the danger die no, for the current round. Hey, this die. is the first the one that happens on the first round. There's six X's and two blanks. More than likely, you're going to hit an X. What happens if you hit an X? Oh, hey, you're going to lose a die. amongst the, From the dice that you just rolled, you're going to lose one of them unless you block it with a shell from your shell shield. Hey, check this out. Move one shell that you own onto the shield to block an X. That doesn't mean pay a shell on the shield. That means move a, a shell to the shield. Yeah. Currently, I have two shells here and two shells in my inventory. At Whenever I hit the fourth shell, I can set a die to any face. And if I have six shells, I can spend six shells from the shield to refresh two dice. You can do these at any time on your turn. And as far as I'm aware, you can do them as many times as you want on a turn. As long as you have the shells to pay for them. Yeah. So, let's say I roll this against the massive hagworm. And I roll something that doesn't help. Oh, look. That really doesn't help me out any. Because it is a shield that is not the right color. And I rolled an X. Uh -oh. So, I don't want to lose that die. So I'm going to put a shell over here. And then I can roll these again. But every time I roll, I've mm -hmm. got to roll that danger die again. Yeah. Oh, on round two, it's going to become even more dangerous. And you might have two X's. Oh. If you want to block that, it takes two shells. Or you can let it kill one die. It's always one die, not two dice. Two X's just means it's super strong to kill that one die. You could just let that one die go and be fine with it. Yeah. And sometimes you need to do that. That's fine. So there fine. are there are there's one blank side, there are six sides with X's, and one side with a double X. Hey, during round four, it's gonna it's get even, even worse. No. One blank side, four sides with X's, three sides with double X's. Wow. And that's how it goes. All right. So, uh, I love that bonus die at the fold. It really helps late ga game where you have done a couple challenges for each location. Also, when you play advanced mode and do the shared, you can get so many points. Oh, my God. I'm not advanced enough at this game yet to oh, do advanced Dan mode. Dan says, now I get your clue from last night. Yeah, we were playing Hughes and, Hughes and Cues. Hughes and Clues. Hughes, it's not Clues. <laughs> it's Cues. Hughes and Cues? Hughes, Hughes and Cues? Hughes and Cues. Did, did you? And my clue was... Tidal blades. <laughs> oh my goodness! And what was, it was the? Like, it was like a like a like a like a like steel. this color. Yeah, just like that. Ocean. You could have said ocean. <laughs> well, but, so uh, I, I was trying to use board games as my clues. Oh. <laughs> You're one of those players. Oh come on! <laughs> board games. I'll roll words on my mind. <laughs> uh, true. Uh, I, I should have said. Derek so says use and clues. I thought it was hues and cues. I thought it was clues as well. It might be clues. I don't know. Where is your hues and clues? It's in the other room. It's in the other the other room. It's fine. You're right. I'm wrong. I don't know what I'm talking about. It was a good clue because Dan didn't know. See, Stray <laughs> says hues and cues. I'm pretty sure it's cues. <laughs> All right, this is important. We have to find out. It's uh, Dan says it's cues. Shrey says it's cues. Let's go with those guys because I trust and, them. And the two of us say it's clues. <laughs> I, I say it's... I'm sure Dan looked on BGG. He walks away. Look at this. He walks away. Oh, my God. It was a good clue because Dan didn't know. Where is 
The kitchen. Oh, the kitchen game. The kitchen game. We got, we got, we got endless games in this house. They go all the way into the kitchen. See, everybody says cues. They probably just looked on BGG. They probably just looked on BGG. Like normal people instead of walking well, around the house. Yeah. Well, my, my phone is occupied. Did, did you find it? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we're wrong. He, yeah, exactly. Actually, he said it. Guys, yeah. he said it. He's wrong. <laughs> <laughs> I was going by what Derek said. I was giving Derek the benefit De- of the Derek doubt. Derek says it's cues. I was joking. <laughs> <coughs> uh, we, uh, joking. <laughs> we did not pick out a first character. We're, we're just going to go with the with the norm, with the the normal ones. Okay. The, oh, the shield. The no. spell shield. The shell shield. Oh, does it not normally give us a shield? Well, okay, so there are advanced setup rules. Oh, we don't have If you want to play with them. Not really. I just, there's probably more things I have to think about. <laughs> so, at the end of the round, I told you we're going to do the monster invasion. The monsters are going to advance. The one on the inner reef is going to flee. We're going to refresh and upgrade dice mm-hmm. based on our resilience. We're going to collect our action discs back. The judge is going to move clockwise. Yeah. And if you are the leader, you're going to get to put your little token here. Okay. At the end of the game, we're going to score points for a whole bunch of different stuff. Oh, hey, did I mention? We each have a secret goal. Ooh, secret goal, secret goal. And we did take just a random secret goal. We didn't just take the basic one. Bye, Wim. All right. So, oh, we do get a random, we get a character upgrade to start with. Oh, in addition okay. to spell shield. Then I guess, I guess. Um, let me look, let me make sure. I should have double checked her setup. Yeah, you should. Um, I had the ma- this guy, I think. Oh, no, I had the one. Set up the island. Set up each player. Here it is. If you have played before, randomly choose one of your secret goal cards to keep. Place two of your action discs under the thing. Find a spell shield and put it in front of you. If you have played before, oh, if it's your first game, um, you can start off with your Suros Transverser. And I should take New to the Isles. Or you can just choose from three random ones. Yeah, sure. Let's choose from three random ones. All right, how about good. that? Where are my cards? I'm there. shuffling them because I was just One, two, three. Uh. And the other ones, I guess, go in the bottom. Sure. Oh, wow. Ooh. That's great. So tuck this card under your shell shield. Oh, that's shield. so good. This upgrades... Permanent use for shells. Spend three shells to, to choose an, or draw a challenge. That's a lot. Three shells, but it's good. I got this one. It says two shells. You might discard a challenge card from your hand to gain two shells once per turn. Well, that's not bad. Or I can automatically upgrade my shield like you had at your last game. Mm-hmm. To the advanced spell shield? Did you like that one? I did. It seemed good. I wasn't rolling a whole lot of X double X's, though. So it upgrades the move one shell to block up to two X's. So if I keep rolling double X. Oh, man. I don't know. I'm going to try this one. It's probably a terrible idea, but it's going to be fine. It's going to be great. I'm going to upgrade my shield. I'm a quick learner. When I push it on a two-symbol challenge, I get to advance the push trait one extra notch. Ooh. Redeem, check the floor for pieces. Yeah, you need to add that at the start of the game for sure. Oh, all right, so, God. hey, we've got a two-player mode good. to deal with. Let me just find all my points. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> you might need those. Oh, all right, God. so in this game, we are going to have a rival. It is a dummy third player. Um... On the rival's turn, which is before the first player's turn, we're going to reveal a challenge card. We're going to find the matching island. Might as well do that now. Check the points on the challenge card. Hey, this is a two. a two-point Droska ring. So we're going to take the we're going to take him. We're going to go one, two. Oh, hey, we're on the Glass Forgers Guild. And my discard pile's down there. That's fine. And then we re- we reveal a new one. Yep. If the action space is empty, place the rival there. If there are too few spaces on the island or the space is not empty, we're going to put the rival on the lowest space where there is a monster. And then, since this is round one, he's going to do one damage to that monster. But but it's not. Right. Um, if the rival is at the judge's island, they're going to move plus two in the champion board. No, it did not happen. Um, if, it, if they went to Lamara Stadium, 
instead of the market, they would push the boat one space. <laughs> so, um, if he goes to the fold, whether or not he does any damage to the monster, we're going to push him forward one space on the champion board because, hey, he's brave to go to, after the monster. <laughs> he's going to deal hits equal to the round monster, and if the monster is killed, the rival gets to move one more on the champion board. Each player with fewer hits than the rival goes minus one on the champion board. Is that clearer? I was just trying to see if it was. Do you think so? Maybe not. Yeah, probably. Because all of us face down are probably the same color. It is. So, yeah. Let's put little little, little colors. colors. At least that's slightly better. These, these little trophies are so cute, too. Though, They're cute. They, they, I mean, they are... They're really, really cute. Especially the little echo. Oh, my God, it's so cute. Horse Bloody is just like, this is so confusing. And it's not that bad. It's just, it, it gets confusing playing two player versus three players. So we're trying to kind of. We're trying cover to teach both. the game and then say, hey, uh, by the way. By the way, this is also and this happening. Is, and so it gets this a is what confusing. This is what they do too. I mean, in the right. rules. No, you have, I mean, you have to do it that way. But I mean, really, there's three locations. Grab some stuff. Grab some stuff. Take do some challenges. And this dude dice. is gonna block, and that's basically and he's what he's gonna it block. Is. I mean, yeah. Okay, so here's the here's the sorry about the confusing part, but this is the last confusing little bit. <laughs> Each time you push it on a challenge, when you're at the same island as the rival, the rival goes back one. The judge doesn't have to be there. Um, and you and you're like, well, why does it matter if you push the guy back? Ah, uh, well, that's coming in a second. Um, when the rival has more hits than you. If the monster invades, you suffer the invasion penalty. Hey, remember those old rules that if you have no hits on the monster, you're going to suffer the invasion penalty? That's not true anymore on a two-player game. You have to have fewer than the rival. That's important. Because if the rival has zero, fewer than zero is negative one, and you're not going to have negative one hit. Right. You could have zero hit, and you'd be okay. So it's likely at the early stage of the game he's going to not go here. And, and I went back to the rules several times, so hopefully I'm doing someone a, a <laughs> solid by taking one for the team. If you have zero on the normal game, you're going to suffer the, the penalty. If you're playing two-player and you have zero and the rival has zero, you're not taking the penalty. Yeah. At least that's as far as we can determine. That, that's what we've understand. understood. You have to have fewer than the rival. Yeah. And the same thing when the monster flees. If the monster flees, you're going to move minus one on the champion board if you have fewer hits than the rival. Um, so, so when the monster flees normally, you're going to go back if you don't have a hit on there. Now it's fewer hits than the rival. Mm. So, which zero might be okay. Zero might be okay. So... At the game end, you're going to lose one point for each space that you are behind the rival on the champion board. Oh, and hey, here's one thing that a lot of players gripe about on the forums. If the rival is on the lead on the champion board at the end of the game, guess who wins? Nobody. Well, the rival does. We don't win. <laughs> it doesn't matter how many points we've collected. It doesn't matter how many points that this guy would have collected, though he doesn't really collect any points. He just wins. We didn't so it's really sort of, see a problem with that because he never went to the judges board like once in our game. Well, before. the rules the rules are also unclear about a couple of different things. Let's say that the rival goes here and he fights this monster and he does this damage. Hey, there is a he'll do damage from top to bottom, right to left. Okay. okay. Yeah. Does he get the champion point for that? The rules don't say. The rules say he gets a point for going here I think that's probably and a it. point for killing the monster. That's all it says. Yeah, it would clarify, I think, if it was And two points to. for being on the judge's location, which is ridiculously strong. What happens if you randomly draw the judge's location, the judge's location, the judge's location, the judge's location, every single action? Well, that's why I think people are complaining, because he would just go because, crazy high. So, for all you designers out there... If there is an edge case where it can happen, it will. it will happen. But that's also why if we show off in front of them, he goes back. That's supposed to mitigate it somewhat. Yes. But it's one space. And you have to succeed at showing off. Yeah, that's so hard. It's hard. It's hard. It's hard. Anyway, that's the two-player rules. So, And we begin. <laughs> um, uh, the rival has gone. He has taken away that fine card that I was thinking about going after. 
Um, fortunately, I did not take my ability. I, I bottomed my ability that lets me buy cards for one less fruit. Mm. I almost did it. Almost did it. That I didn't do it. I, I, it would have been amazing. Should have done it. Should have done it. Didn't <laughs> do it. Should have done it. Should have, could have, would have. Didn't. Um, when I push it on a two simple challenge, I get to advance <laughs> the push trade an extra notch. So that's handy. Quick says, if my game group tends to be all about the killing the monsters, you get to move those dials up and get lots of points. That does seem good. Hashtag However, one shot monster killer quicksand. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, my challenge is a three die challenge, the one that matches that monster. I may not easily be able to go get that monster for like lots of reasons. Um,. I do have that challenge I could go after. And it would be in front of the judge, too. So if I complete the challenge in front of the judge, mm -hmm. I go up one on the board. Yeah. That seems really good Don't for what I'm it. about to do. Okay. So, number one, I'm going to take that red die. No. Ta -da. You're in charge of dice. I, I'm, I'm the you dice master. You get a master. cool dice tray. <laughs> And I said, yeah, look at this cool I, game I tray. And, and then I'm like, well, you actually get two really cool dice trays because you get that and you get this. Well, that's a <laughs> different kind of dice that's tray. That's a different tray. No, I'm just saying. It's funny because they're both dice trays. <laughs> it is true. And they're both game game trays, dice trays. Uh, is this? They're, the whole thing was done by game trays. I'm sure it was. Okay. It doesn't say. This is but, like a toy I mean, factor. Toy this factor. has toy factor, yeah. Yeah, it's like a... Yeah. Then I'm going to draw a stunt card. <laughs> Ta-da! Quicksand likes points. That's true. I don't like points. I didn't even go fight the monster last Are these day. secret? I don't remember. I think they're secret. You can show them your hidden goal if you want. I won't look. Yeah, well. I have to do those. This should be easy enough, maybe. At least for the mid minimum point value for mine. Alright, you did something? So it's me, is what you're saying. No. Oh, oh, you're fighting. No, I'm you're doing, doing my you're, challenge. You're doing a challenge. Read the chat. So, uh, the chat. obstacle course. I'm going to eat some <laughs> fruit because I want to push it. Because if I push it, I can make my stunt power go up. Yeah, that's good. So, I want to eat some fruit. Stunt power. Hmm. Make some stunts happen. Well, I'm going to try. And I'm going to do it in front of the judge. Where's my, where's that danger die? Danger. Oh, I rolled a blank and a wild and a blue symbol. So I can take that and run or I can keep trying. Push it. You know what? To the limit. I don't think it's worth it to push it on, on this challenge because pushing it just makes my stunt power go almost to a three. It's definitely going to a two in just a second. Unfortunately, I've spent both my dice anyway. I can't even imagine doing a one hit. A one monster. shot, yeah, on the on the monster. It just seems really difficult. I yeah. And then you lose all your dice. But you know what? If if I have to spend all my shells to get here. Then I could set that die face. Are you shellfish? Oh no. <laughs> That's bad. I... That's no. That's just. <laughs> Don't hurt me. That's just bad. Uh... uh. You know what? I am just going to take the money and run. Put those in my spent dice. Put this in my completed challenges. I saw a lot of stuff. Push cards this last up game, one. But... My stun power never went above one, so they weren't that. Useful. Unfortunately, now I have two spent dice. So sad for you. All right, I'm gonna go over there while I still can. Go while you still can. Where you went? Uh, no, I'm there. I'm gonna go the space below it. I get a fruit. You get a fruit and a novice die. And a lame. Oh a no, lame you're die. gonna do what I think you're gonna do. What am I doing? You're gonna. Give now, me a lame die. You can't pay with reputation you don't have. What do you mean? If you plan on going here. Uh, I'm not planning on going there. I, uh, I need a, a basic die. 
I'm just, oh, but you are if you're going to get a challenge. You could actually. No, I'm going to go do a challenge right now. Yeah, so you but might actually have it to spend. I need to, I need to spend two fruit to get my three dice. To get dice. three dice. Yeah. Like, you are going to buy that. What? You are going to buy that fruit. I can tell. This one? I can I can feel it. I mean, it. it seems really good. I can feel it. I'm not even thinking about that. I'm just trying to focus a little bit. I hope bit. he takes it. Come on, shut up. <laughs> Why are you so mean to me? Because that's going to give I you a huge advantage. I need three yellows. This is awful. That's going to give you a huge advantage. Well, there's one of your yellows and, then, and an X. <laughs> All right, take your one yellow. There's one. That's one yellow. Let's go again. All right. <laughs> no. Wipe out. I'll just... Given the juju. Oh no, it doesn't count. Rerolling that, whatever. She it is. said doesn't count before. Check the floor. It hit the ground. <laughs> Check the floor, and it's an X. Hey, look, that's still only one. Thinking about it. Do it. I gotta do spend it, my shield. Do it. Do it. All right. And I'll just stop. Oh, that's right. You don't have the fruit now. No, I don't have the fruit. So it didn't matter. So you did it. Yeah. And you go up one on the track. Yay! Where's that go? Okay, so like this. And then I uh, get two pushes no. with my focus, which is not great, but it yeah, is. It, is. it means you don't have to use fruit anymore for those things. That's good. All right. That's Ish. that. Ish -ka -ish -ka -ish. Flip a flip a challenge no. for the for the dude. It's a one. <laughs> Oh, no, it's the wrong play. I thought it was the other place. I thought it was the one here. Ah, he pushes that. <laughs> we don't really need to move him around. We've got his, well, we do for where he's going right now, I guess. Just in case he goes here. Everybody knows where he is. Yeah, everybody knows where he is. And I know where he is. And I'm going to go to, notice I leave a little disc behind. So nobody can go there. Did I get a stunt card? No, because Michael's in charge of that, and he's what? really, really mean. Did to me. you get a stunt card for going to? No, you have to do Look these it. things uh, in the order uh, that they're that they are. I got are. little bitty arms. It's like way short. People got <laughs> no, no reason. reason. Short, short people got <laughs> no reason. Thank you. <laughs> I would have remembered got, like. Five little turns from arms, now. Hey, I was supposed to get little the hands. <laughs> this is awful. Don't want no short people. It's really mean. <laughs> oh my. Well, that's I, not I did. I picked the spend great. three shells from the shield to choose a draw challenge. But then I used all my shells to turn the die the shells right way. Shells and cheese. Lots of problems going on, so. Yeah. I thought I would try it, but you know. But you know. Not working great. <clears throat> well, you know, the problem is I need more dice. Uh, I need more resilience. <laughs> To refresh my dice. Yeah. Getting more dice would help it. I guess. Is there a limited number of challenges we can have? I think we can have six in our hand. I can't remember. There's six dice. I know that. Is there? I is it remember. on our player eight? I don't know. I don't like any of those challenges. I really don't. It doesn't say it on our player eight, so... I know that you can only have six shells on the shield. Spend three seashells. No, I At the seashore. I, I can spend three shells to get a new challenge card. What? But I spent all four of mine to... Oh, that's an upgrade. It's that's a, not a right. advanced. I thought you got the advanced. No, no I decided to try the upgrade, but it's obviously not working for me very well. Quicksand likes the five round ga game. That that would be nice, but the two player game is explicitly a four round game. That's true. It, it yeah. So, sadly, we don't have that option as it's another two player twist. Thanks. It's a twist. It's a twist. Now what? Uh you. Me. Okay. What am I going to do? Well, I'm not worried about that right now. I am. <laughs> 
Uh, I really, I, I would, I just hate going and putting a hit on that monster over there. House house rules. <laughs> <laughs> Time for some house rules. You play the way you wanna. Yeah, I play the way That's I want. That's fair. Well, I can get three shells and attempt this challenge, but I'm not going to get any coolness from this challenge. I'm not smart enough at this game to do well. Don't what's, say that. What's your normal score, Quicksand? Well, I have multiple chances at this, and if I fail, it's not a big deal because I can just set it. So, hey, pillar balance. Uh, lost a die. No reason to live. Got no Got it. Oh, bu 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 Bam. That's your die. That's my die. Hey, guess what? Psh, I got it. Did you show off? Did I, did I show off? No. Yeah. No, because I only had one die left. If I had gotten a die, oops. If I had gotten a, another die... Mm. Then I would have shown off, but sadly did not have it. Seems so good. I got an extra focus. That was nice. That was nice. You. Me. Oh, hey, that's all of our actions. I got to do something. You got to do something. I'll go here. Yay. Where you, where'd you going? I get. You get a challenge spot. And I get two oranges. That's it. That's it. I'm not good at this game. Okay. Why are you not good at this game? Because I'm only getting one die back. Uh, me too. It's not good. That's it's not good. It's not good. Um. No, I, you're supposed to move him one more after that. Four. I'm supposed to move him. The more. boat. The boat goes forward to the two orange space. It goes twice. Oh, because you went on the two. You went on the two move space. Yeah. Well, you got to tell me what you're doing here because you covered that's it That's why up. I said I'm getting two oranges and a champion. I thought champion. there was two oranges under there. Oh. Now, there could potentially be two oranges under there, mm. but there's not. There's not. So. Hmm, depends on... 40-ish to 50-ish range for normal. I don't know what we... You got think. 43, I got 39 in that first game. So, yeah. Bad. <laughs> You got it. You got it in a perfect range. Well, <laughs> I got in the average range. Mm. All right, so we each get these uh, blink. No, that's blink, and that's me. And we take these back. And hey, we might have some monster movement. So the some monster invasion. Monster invasion is not going to matter because nobody's going to have fewer than. So we advance. We have a bula 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 bula, and we're on round two. Hey, we're gonna have three actions this time. Hey, where does where does dude go? Does it start playing? Oh, attack? I've got a no. If you want it, you gotta take it. Dang it! Where is that? Where is that first player thing? I don't know. Oh, it's it's where he went. Yeah, you can take it. It's right there. I would have taken it if it was available. Yeah. You didn't go for it the entire game we played. Because I was first player the entire game. No, that was me. Maybe. <laughs> I, don't, I don't remember. Choose one of your dice. Not sure, man. Uh, oh, 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 and I upgrade it. Uh, so uh, I think I'll take... Uh, I'll take a blue. Me too. You know. Now I believe it's not so. It's magic. You know. All right. Where we go? Oh, we got to flip a card. Okay, yeah, flip a card, any card. It's going to go to the second spot. The repair shop. Over, oh, isn't that where the judge is? Oh. It, oh, you didn't put your spot here. Oh, I did get that. That's the reason why I did that. Yeah. One roll point. Woo. Hey, you know what? I got to get any point. So, he shows off. Blink. Rude. Sucks. We better, we better go there. This we, moves downhill. Oh, that's right. Mm -hmm. Then me. Yes, you do that. Yes, yes I yes. do that. Yes. 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 No. 
<laughs> um, I need more dice. Dice, dice, baby. Uh, I'll get a stunt card, sure. And another blue die. Jeez, you're so rude. What's wrong with it? You're so rude. Oh, it's your life. Oh, my dear. Oh, my dear. Oh, that's nice. Guys, he didn't take my spot. You. Yay! Wow. Echo to the win. All right. Wow. Well, it's echo to the something. And do what? So you get a die and a push. Yeah. Get my resilience up. I have one job. The question is, do I fight? One I of the advanced goals is that you get two points per monster hit. So if we play with that, score is 80 to 100-ish. 100 100-ish, 100 wow. All right, I'm doing that advancement. I will fight. Yeah, this is going to be bad. Yes. Enjoy. But. What you're doing? Oh, I'll do this first. Oh, you Shell monster. burst. Don't be shell burst. I get two shells. Because my spirit level is two. Okay. Gain a number of shells equal to your spirit level. Did it. That's a pile. No! How about nothing in an X? Let's roll it again, That's I guess. That's fantastic. How about... That's what I needed, so... Assemble and your X. Yes. And then you're done? Uh, I, I, I completed it against... But you didn't show off. No, I did not. I'm not good at showing off. Show off. Show off. So that's... We've him. Him. He goes to the third spot in yellow. Uh. Toss. Oh. Oh, hello there. That's four oranges for two blue dice. Does not suck. It seems good. It seems good. Not good for this <sighs> There's no possible way. Nope. Nope. <laughs> Hydrate. I already hydrated. Caffeine. No, I'm telling myself to do it. Hmm. I can do what I want to do. That's good. No, no, I can't. Why? No, no, I can't. I Because I can't. You can't. Because I just can't. So this is select one, correct? That's or, choose or draw one. Or one, yeah. Correct. For two Fruit, I can do that. And this is ditch two and refresh two, correct? Mm -hmm. uh, I hate spending the fruit for it. Oh, wait. Where where am I? You're over on that. I need to put my disc on it. If I like it, I gotta put a disc on it. Don't go to the space I want. Is that the space you want? I don't know. What are you doing? I'm going to take an orange and I'm going to spend that orange, but I, well, you can kill that might not be true. Want. I'm going to I'm going to do that first. Yeah. I'm going to kill these two cards. No! Oh, I know what you wanted. You ain't getting it. <laughs> I wanted that card. Oh, I know you did, which is why I killed it. No. Don't think I didn't know what you were going for. I wanted it. Well, here's you another black market. No. Upgrade any die and pay for it with it's your rep. It's not the same. Oh, I know it's not. This is terrible. <laughs> We're howling like it's the end of your friggin' world. It's the end of the world. <laughs> Shit. All right. Uh, yeah. That stinks. That's not nearly as good. <laughs> Look at Kestrel. <laughs> Now what? This is awful. <laughs> if that lip gets any bigger, we're going to have to move the camera. 
<laughs> She's about to hit me in the eye with that lip. <laughs> it's the end no. of Steph's world as she knows it. It's the end of Steph's world as she knows it. And I feel fine. No! <laughs> But I, I have two more actions this round, so screw it. <laughs> we really need a pouty step emote. <laughs> a rainbow girl with a big bottom lip. Wearing a cute little rainbow t shirt or something. This sucks. With braided brown hair. <laughs> So anyway, several of us play uh, Champed Up on Jackbox Party Pack 7. And there are several recurring characters that appear in Jack <laughs> in Jackbox Party Pack 7 Champed Up, right? Maybe. So we have Steph. She appears with rainbow colored whatever every time. Um, there is um, Michael's hair that appears. Wow. Are you going to like choose to draw two, two challenges? Yeah. Um, we have Desperate Gamer, um, who is like this shy gamer dude. And uh, recently we have put in Little Pisser, who uh, looks like the Calvin and Hobbes, like evil Calvin. You know, like he's looking over his shoulder. And uh, so, yeah, the little... Characters are popping up over and over now. Um, <laughs> <laughs> that would make me grumpy too, and then my gameplay would turn to I'm gonna smash so hard now. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm not. I'm yeah, not. you need a happy step too. Yeah. Well, so the thing is, we like our rainbows, right? We like our hype train emote. We like our. We love our. Oh yeah, we're, we're she's limited, limited to five emotes, and we unless like, what? Unless you get more more followers no, or subscribers. It's five out of five is my is the, maybe if I become partner, I unlock more. But all I right, so know. we need a big push <laughs> for followers or subscribers. I don't know what the, the next level is. I need seventy five average I need viewers. So I, oh, I have 75 a long, I have a long average way to go. All right, how many do we have right now? <laughs> We're at sixteen viewers. All right. Everybody get five friends get to five watch. Five friends to watch every stream and then we'll be average of seventy five. <laughs> <laughs> so for my channel, oh look, Booker the Looker is now following. Yay, thanks and for following. Yay. Booker can be one of those people who watches every week. <laughs> Every time you stream. Oh, I need 32 followers and I can make affiliate. I am currently playing Far Cry New Dawn on computer and it's really good. So I just got Timber, my puppy, and he goes and kills wolves for me. What are you, and what are you, are you moving him? I'm taking the turn because that's not board games. No, he's going forward two more spaces. No, because... It's all taken. No, the spot is taken. Oh, the spot is taken. So he's not he actually goes, going. He's going to go here. He oh, crap nuggets. Goes, bottom. Bottom. Farthest down. Now he's going to do two damage. Left side. Top to bottom. Great. <laughs> Great. So we're going to lose a die to... Inv to if we don't do more damage to that monster. No, we're going to we're going to slide back on the track. One, we're going to slide back one on the track if it escapes. If it comes in, we're going to lose a die, then it's going to escape. Oh. So, we'll lose a die and then we go back one on the track. That's bad. So, he goes he gets one here just for going. Sure. Yay. Um Well, okay, so for coordinating schedules, I'm of mixed minds on that. Um, there could potentially be... A, one of my friends had created a board game TV channel. Um, and it was not... It was like probably three years ago. And it was not well supported at all. Mm -hmm. um, it would have been piped into local game stores. Local game stores did not care one bit. Mm -hmm. So... Um, but coordinating schedules... You know, nobody wants to take the 
you know, the the 3 a.m. to 6 a.m. slot, you know, etc. Right. Um, so, you know, you're going to have one person with that prime time slot and it's, you know, going to be someone popular who might not be as good, but might be just eye candy. Is that what we need? I don't know. I I think you just consume as you consume. And if you need to go back and look at someone's video, go back and look at your, your watch after the fact is it's, huge. It's really huge. It's yeah, huge. It's good. So, yeah. thanks for following, Kestrel. Yeah, thank you. Thought you were already following. What's up with woo, that? Woo, 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 woo. Here, now you got a new emote. <coughs> you can use our new emote too. Yay! Can you do it as a follower or subscriber? Oh, no. I'm just doing it. I'm just doing it every oh, time. Oh, we can. Every, I'm just using it. <laughs> every time. Okay. But, um, What yeah. we have is everyone out for themselves and the larger community doesn't grow. Well, we raid all the time. Well, that, and we raid someone different so all the time. Even doing the Tabletop Network Live last week was a huge It was a the, huge right getting direction. together. So we're going to continue But we to took a that. 12 to 2 slot. I mean, who wants that on New Year's? I mean, I wanted to get... Well, we, yeah. It I mean, should have been better coordinated where be, it was... It's going to be rotated. Where it was New Year's for that streamer, and right. it rotated every hour, right. but it didn't happen. Right. For whatever yeah. reason. I am going to move somewhere. I don't think it's an uh, average of 75 for three months. 75 viewers for three months time. I think it's just average of 75 viewers... And like some number of hours, which is easy to do, and some number of chatters, which is uh, could be a challenge. All right, this might come up as a question: What happens if all these spaces are full? You can take the spaces, but you just don't get any sort of special ability. So I'm going to do a challenge after this. <laughs> You're not horrible. You're great. Thanks for following. <laughs> <laughs> I need five friends to sub. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's interesting and probably useless. Um, in front of the judge, I'm going to do this floaty maze and I'm going to try to show off in front of this dude. Unfortunately, it's going to help you out. Whatever. Me? Yeah. Mind me? Oh, if he goes back. Ta-da. Ta-da. Yeah. Um, I'm going to use two dice, which I can use both of these dice. Um, oh, did this go forward? Yes. And I took my stun die. Ta-da. Ta-da. All right. Good luck. Yeah, I'm going to need it. I'm going to need it. Because I, I'm going to try to push it in front of him. Push it, push it, push it. I got nothing, nothing That's X. X. <laughs> That's the best ever. Dang. So I'm going to shell and roll. Shellfish. Oh, uh, that's another shell, and I totally failed that. Ooh, you have so many shells. I hit it exactly with well, an X. That's good. And that puts me exactly at six shells. Wow, that's nice. So I have pushed it in front of him. I'm going to get one extra because of my ability. So I'm going to go one, two, three. That puts me at level three. So I'm going to get two extra character abilities, which I will choose when you, while you take your turn. What am I doing? Well, that is an excellent question I, I cannot help you with. No. Uh, I pushed it in front of him. I completed it and pushed it. Wow. Showed off. That's nice. Well, that's why I did it. Hi, Justin. Welcome. Hello. All right. All right. I'm going to go and then what? try and fight the monster. Oh, I need to take character abilities. Try and fight him. What do I do? Take two and choose one? That's what we did, right? Yeah. This guy doesn't care. It's random, though. Take two, choose one, right? Yeah. No, well, that's not random. It's choosing. I'm going to spend two oranges. choice. To do... Yeah, four dice. Oh, you're going to go down there. How I'm going to go that? fight the, the bad monster. I'm the only and one I'm going to lose that all my dice for the next round. Yay! Because <laughs> this is how you play the game, guys. Lose all your dice. Well, maybe I should keep one die to upgrade. Should I keep one dice until I get to upgrade it? Yeah, all right. Let's keep one die. I'll use only three dice. It means I won't be able to kill it, though. But that's okay. Oh, you gotta be I was going to try and kill it. 
How do we clear these? Oh, this. Yeah. Okay, 1x. 1x what? Oh, that x. I can put this there. And that will push you up one on the challenge track. I can put this there. If you want. And if I'm tied with, if at least I have as much. Have as there. much. So that's probably good. I can just stop at that. If you want to. I mean, yeah, I guess. Goodbye, dice. Uh, where, where did you put your things on? Because you're going to need those. Yeah. Okay. I, mo I, I advanced my abilities over here. I'm still drawing character cards. I get character cards as well. I get two, choose one. All right. This is much better early in the game. So we're already like halfway through there? No, not really. Well, a little bit. No. We're going into round three. Uh, yeah, but we get more and more actions, so. I could either choose at the end of your turn, if you did not attempt to challenge or fight a monster, refresh all of your dice. You remember that. That's what I had last time, but yeah. I didn't use it once. Or I could get Ancient Vestiri. Artifact. You may hit one armored spot with any level die. Is this armored? Is that an armored spot? Yes. I agree um, with the, uh, the the Twitch streamers are interacting with the community easier when stream uh, easier than when streaming on YouTube. I agree. Um, so. I'm sure several uh, people are viewing my Twitch channel to catch up on all the video game stuff because I am i don't have a set schedule. I just play it whenever I have whenever. the urge. And so people will watch it to get the rest. So like something with Far Cry New Dawn, it, there's a story that goes along with it. And you're probably going to want to watch that story as it unfolds. And so you, you'll want to catch up on the episode episodes, I guess. Um, so, yeah. Um, I don't... Actually, just I don't lurk on Twitch, and I probably should. I have been lurking a lot more the past, and that like, probably week. helps. It totally helps. I think it just helps. Like the having it here the... and just like having it on, even with no sound, just kind of have it on. Yeah. Okay, now we're in the new round, right? Yeah. All right. I strip these off. Move this dude. Um, let's do the invasion. Invasion. I hope the top one invades. <laughs> oh, we gotta roll this die. Yeah, we do. How about the top one invade? No, the bottom one invades. I lose a die. Wow. That sucked. And then we move back. Um, um, let me get the correct order for this. Well, there it is. Invasion, advance. Okay, so uh, I have to go back one on the champion track. Because I don't have a hit on it. These don't matter, right? Uh, you, not really. No, because we're not fighting them for points. But I'm, I'm totally going to be screwed on this. Uh, Karakin. And you're ahead again. Um, refresh and upgrade dice. I can refresh one whopping die. Me? Well, I can do two, but I only have one, so that's what I get. Wow, I'm just really not having good luck here. I can draw blind, you said, right? Yep. Yeah. All right, my new powers are when I fight a monster, all my fighting skills are plus one to that level, which is really good. Wow. All the different three fighting styles. Yeah. When That's really good. After I fight a monster, I move the bonus die to my spent dice area instead of losing it. Oh. Yeah. So not only am I plus one, I move that die into my spent area. That's too good. That's so good. 
Does Michael play Stellaris? Uh, I might have it in my unplayed collection, but I haven't played it yet. So, I tried the PC app for a few days this fall. I don't use the PC app. I just use the Twitch.tv browser thing. So... Yeah, Justin has played games in person with us, and so that's, he is a friend outside of Twitch, so that's good. Oh, wow. Several people playing Stellaris. I play Elite Dangerous quite a bit. Um, eventually, I'd like to play uh, Squadrons, uh, Star Wars Squadrons. Um, I've got to choose one of these dice. I'm just not happy with them, though. Can you give me a blue one? Can I give you a blue one? Yeah, I guess I can. He's in charge of the dice. I guess I can. I'm just, I'm looking at these and going, eh. It's hard. They're hard. They're not great. They're not great. Yeah. I yeah. mean, they're yep, just yep, not yep, great. Yep, 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 yep. I'll upgrade a blue one. Though, when I'm going to kill those monsters, well, that's all just several colors, so. All right, and then that's the obviously the one I'm pulling back. It has to be. It's got to be. It's got to be. Mm. This will give me more refresh. Round three. Oh. Um, yeah, and we've already done all the rest of the end game stuff, so. This is just bad. So you're done. We can put out the dude. We can put out the dude. All right. He goes um, on the red two, which is... Repair shop? Yeah. And he pushes this forward. Dink. Dink. Wow. Yeah. Oh, he's over here. Yes, he uh... is. Yes, he is. Don't know. You're looking at me like I was growing ahead or something. <laughs> you don't know. It's like my lip. I have a card here. I need to. I need a little clarification on. I'm gonna see if I can find it real quick. Stunt cards. Stunt cards. Stunt cards. That's legendary challenges. No, I want stunt cards. Stunt cards, stunt cards. You I can don't... play one stunt card per turn at any time. Yeah, but I've got. <coughs> I have a specific stunt card. When. When fighting a monster, upgrade a number of dice equal to your spirit level. Does that include the bonus die? I would say no. I would say yes. So now we're at an impasse. So that's exactly what I was wondering. Um, and it doesn't say it in the almanac. So... Quicksand says yes. So yes, you can. Well, unless Quicksand someone... Quicksand knows everything. Unless someone fi finds anything different. <laughs> Yes, it includes the bonus die. Good. That would be that. That sounds great. Unfortunately, Dan, like, what was the question? <laughs> <laughs> Dan will look in the forums for you. Um, it's called. Spirit of the Tidal Blades. When fighting a monster, upgrade a number of dice equal to your spirit trait level. Does that include the bonus die? I'm going to take these six shells and I'm going to refresh two dice. Ooh. Seems good. And I'm going to go here. And I'm going to get two shells. That's a lot of shells. And then I'm going to buy a card from the market or gain a fruit. Well, let me refresh my dice real quick. Oh, does this not have that symbol? Oh, it doesn't have that symbol on it. Not that one, though. Frack. Well, I can hope I roll it, I guess. Because I need to try to push it in front of this dude. Playing Dominion's Five while lurking here. Wow. 
The Minions 5? Um, I can't afford... Well, I can't afford... Oh. It's a good question. What do you want? I can't afford those. I can get... I can get five shells. I can get two dice. Or I can go back one and upgrade a die. All of that. Because right now, I've got one where I can be one or the other. This is one or the other. Dan says yes to bonus die upgrade. Thank you. This says one or the other. The next level up can give me two symbols. Yep. True. God, I hate paying pan for it with rep, though. I mean. Stinks. It does stink. But, you know, sometimes <laughs> you have to make the hard decisions. Uh, yeah, the BG Stats app is amazing. Glad you're liking it, Dave. Uh, I made Michael get it this year so he can start logging his players uh, as well. God, that hurts. He doesn't love it yet, but he'll get there. Well, the reason I need that is because of this card here. I have a feeling <laughs> I need it. He's talking about his upgraded die. I'm talking about BG stats. I know what you're talking about. <laughs> I know what you're talking about. I'm listening to you. Um, But yeah, I was just trying to continue moving the game along. Yeah. Uh, I can spend a fruit to roll another die. It would just be for insurance. I don't necessarily have to use it. It would give me one I could ditch if I had to ditch a die. Mm -hmm. what, do, I, do I lose it to spin or lose it? I just lose it. I think I lose, lose it. I so it's not going to matter. But it would give me it would give me a little bit extra insurance. So I'm going to do it. <laughs> All right. I'm going to try to stand the heat. And I'm doing it in front of the judge. So good luck. Oh, yes. Oh, my yes. God. He got his double green. And... And my risk paid off with oh, my... Oh, man. It really paid off. So I go up one, two, three. Not four because my ability only works on two symbol challenges. When you push it on a two symbol uh, challenge. okay. I think that's a three symbol challenge. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because look in the bottom left corner, it's a three symbol challenge. So it still goes up three, <laughs> which is good. Now, Dave, I had... I pushed it in front of him. Uh. Yeah, that's true. Dave, I had 500 new-to-me games, not plays. I had 1,733 plays. Because I'm crazy. You see, I'm uh, She is indeed. Oh! Crazy. Oh, you got your triple. I've bonus. got the triple. You guys can't see it, but I have three different fighting styles. I only have two at the moment. So I went down one, up one, up two more. Yep. I really needed that, too. I mean, yeah. yeah. All right. All right. I'm go. You're going. I get to get a fruit. Oh, oh, I did this and bought a die, so uh, upgraded a die, rather. That's if that's what you're going there for. I don't know what I'm going for. I also don't know what you're going that's for. That's not bad. That's not bad, but I'm going to kill him. Hey, did you get your two fruit? I got one fruit. Uh, is it one? It is one fruit. All right. Oh, I know what you're taking. I need dice. You love dice. Well, no, I have one. Well, so. I'm saying you love but dice. But I really want that, too. You aren't crazy. You are awesome and impressive. Crazy is another word, but thank you. <laughs> oh. Is that what you wanted? Yes? No, I've taken this one. Oh. That one and Even though I could this spend... one. You're probably right. Maybe I should take two white. Sure, I'll take two white. Oh, well, I mean, let's think about it. It's, it's, I get, I could get, you spend an orange to upgrade one? Hmm? No, but I can spend an orange to add all three dice. Well, there is that. So that's why. Right now I'm going to go for this. Right there. <laughs> this. And I will use all my dice. Yeah? Uh, by spending an orange. Ouch. Ouch. All right. Now, here we go. this one yes you did all right i need two blues judge two blues all right you're doing it in front of the judge 
Hey, you got three blues. Three blues, Judge. Thank you. Mm. Mm. <laughs> no problem. Uh, so you did it in front of the judge. Um, I did a show off. I don't know if that means anything. I did it in front of the judge, and no, it is not because you're not with him. Okay. You pushed it. I pushed it. You pushed it, which gives you the extra push on here, but does not give you okay. an extra challenge. And now point. I've completed my three. Now you get two extra. Oops. And I get a character card. Oh, look how cute he is. I might just take him because he is so cute. I don't care what it does. I just like to see cuteness all around. Oh my goodness. <laughs> He's so cute. And that's why she has I me gaming. Him. <laughs> yeah, no, it was 500 new to me games. Yeah, that's crazy. I'm crazy. Matt really wanted to hit 1,000. Then with days left, I could have hit 900, but just loped through the holiday. Stalled at 892. So far in 2021, he has zero. Climbing that mountain is so daunting. You know how you eat an elephant? One bite at a time. I will go with the cute It's one. amazing how quickly they add up. And you know what? I probably have as many, uh, almost as many new plays as you do. Not quite as many, but probably Yeah, because all... I teach him so stuff he's never played. She teaches me stuff that I've never played, though she does learn a few of them while I'm up playing on the computer and stuff. So, yeah, I do. But I probably, if she has the most plays on, you know, throughout Board Game Landia, I might have second or third most. <laughs> <laughs> so, just... Just because she drags me along because, for the ride. Let's play. Let's play. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Michael. Hey, Michael, what you doing? Let's play. Okay. Right. I already know it's coming. Yeah. Um, uh, okay, you. Okay, me. I already know what I'm doing. Mm. I already know. No. Him. Him doing. You. Hey. Him doing. I had to look at my goal. Yeah. I forgot what Him. it was. One. This place. Covering them symbols up. Covering me. Them up, 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 me, I'm up, going. Up, yeah. Aww. I'm going to go kill a monster. You know why? No. Because it's really friggin' awesome. Um, Get him in one shot. Because, one shot wonder. One all right, shot quicksand. I've got to look at my bonus here. I get bonus die. And that's going to be the only one I spend. Mm. You know why? Because I get it back. Not only do I not spend it, I get it back. All right. Fight a monster. The bonus die. I am level two. This puts me at level three. I get a bonus elite die, not a bonus guild die. <laughs> One shot quicksand. I'll take the title. <laughs> One shot quicksand. <laughs> Um, rolling, rolling, rolling. So, one of those elite dice would be really good. For the next round, yeah? No, for this round. For, for the next round as well, yes. But for this this round, you lose it. Oh, no, you don't no, lose it. No, I don't lose it. Oh, my God. <laughs> awful. Hey, thanks for following. I don't Yay. lose it. I missed it on the screen, but thank you, thank you. I don't lose it. I get it. Everything else I use, I lose. <laughs> um. So yeah. I guess I'm gonna do this. Man. Man, what? All right. So, quick, Sam. Who's your favorite character besides the promo character in the well, expansion? That seems fantastic. Oh. With no shells spent. So, give me that, give me that, give me that. Uh, and I get this back. Oh, look at that. That's like a free elite die. That seems wrong, but it's not. It, it seems is, so right. It's really bad. It's really good. There's a bunch of cheating going on over here. Yes, and I am for it. Oh. 
So what? Me? That is correct. I'm not ready. Alright, do I need I need shells? Did I get I, I need... guess I got my two shells. I think I got I hope I got my two shells. I'm assuming I got my two shells. Big plan. First player. Oranges and a champion point. Like you need more champion points, like you need a hole in your head, Echo. Yeah. That's the first player token. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> she tricked it out like she didn't know what it was. You. No, him. Him. When do you get the first player token? When? Like now? Yeah. Well, I, I don't know. Uh, I assume it goes assume up the end so. of the Assume so. Let me know. No, let me look. What's that space called? Palm Plaza. And take the first player marker. I guess so. All right, then what? What happened? He moved. To where? The second spot over there. Did it. Did you. It. Oh, because I did nothing on my turn, I refreshed all my dice. You did nothing? Yeah. You didn't do a challenge and you didn't kill a monster. Right. I'm tracking. Uh, all right. Now what? Hmm. I can't help you with that. I know. I'm going to go to the... So do I actually go now first? Like before I you? I guess so. Yeah, that is weird. Not that it helps you any, but whatever. It might. Shut it. Where? Uh, the die and the orange space. The die and the orange. Yeah, and I get a, a die and a card. A stunt card. You get a die... And an orange and a stunt. Thank you. Welcome. And I'm going to do a challenge. Yay. Oh. Okay. Well, I'm doing terrible this game. Okay. And I have... <coughs> Wait, do I still want to do this one or this one? This one? I could try for that, but I don't have any re-rolls. That's the problem. I got no re-rolls. And if I roll an X, I lose a die. So I should probably go with the easier one. All right, easier one. I, I I assume I have to declare which one I'm going for. Yes. Yeah. You. Yeah. Well. You, yeah. <laughs> yeah. You have to. Yeah. I mean. Yeah. Whatever. Come on. Just figure it out. Ask. <laughs> yeah. Oh. 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 And I have make it look easy. When I'm at the same island as another character, I assume the other character counts. What other character? The AI. The yellow dude. Where are you? I'm at the Chronostunium. Uh, no, you weren't. You were at Lamar Stadium. Mm. Uh, when you're on the same island as another character, I don't think so. What is the make it look easy? Because he's not a character. He is a character. No. Choose another character to play as the. No. Yeah. Is that is that what it says? On the rules? Yeah, when when setting up the game, you choose another choose character. Choose an unused character to be the right. Well, we're going to find out. What is what is that called? Uh, this card is called Make It Look Easy. All right. Uh, Quicksand says, yes, the rival would count because it's a third bing bong player. Third bing bong player. Bing bong Bing, bong, bong. I agree because, you know, it's like show off. I make him go back and, you know, like all the jazz. All right. So and then you do what? I you get the lower value. Reduce guy. your danger level. Oh. So I get I get the white one. All right. Where's the other one? There it is. Uh, good luck. No. How about still getting it? So bad. And you did roll this one. And I can use my forge. <laughs> Sadly, my forge. Uh, are you going to block that or no? I can't. I lose one of the dice. All right. You lose that one. I'm spending so I don't have to roll again to get... A second symbol and not a third symbol. Yeah. So you didn't show up in front of him. No show off. Hey, I beat it. That's all I care about. <laughs> Just beat it. Just beat it. Someone said they started using Bing Bong instead of Dummy Player. I found it amusing. <laughs> No, it sounds like you're like self-censoring yourself. 
She took my bing bong space and she's a bing <laughs> bong banging player. Oh, there's a lot of bing bonging around. No, no, right? Now you I was wanting that bing bong space. Do something. <laughs> you bing bong? You bing bong. You big bing bong? You bing bing bong. Bing 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 bong. <laughs> um, I'm going to take, uh, sure, I'll take these. Because I can. <laughs> you put out the Bing Bong logo. I did. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, do I want to do this? Bang. I mean, oh, they dang. Got, they got the double A's going on. See, I need the double A. Michael I don't have, I don't have the double A. He hasn't put enough bids. But I can sound like the guy, uh, the captain of the wizard can go, mm, 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 mm. <laughs> <laughs> Captain Keith of the wizard. You get ah, yeah, I, 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 I need to get I need to give more bits. <laughs> I think I've given two hundred bits, and I think I have to give a thousand bits or something like that. Well, if you just lurk on people's channels, you never. I'm gonna know what will I'm happen. gonna have to I'm gonna have to lurk on the merch channel or something. It's easy when they stream. Oh, like, Splutty, that's one that that Steph wishes she had is the oh cute my green God, burger. I wish I had she that so game. wants that I was and so mad Pikachu. It. I would love Pikachu. That one, yeah, the green, the green booger I and Pikachu. I love that green dude, that, like the hiding bushes, like the bushes, like. That's <laughs> so good. I love that one. Uh, is this what I want to do? I, I don't know. I mean, it gives me another die. Another die is good. Yep, I agree, Quicksand. It is, it is the lowest you can set an emote at. I have a yellow meeple and a green and a blue for the bits, but. That all might change in the future. All right, so that's level two. I'm going to upgrade a number of dice equal to my spirit level. So, hey, it's level three now. Hey. It's going to be uh, one of these so I can hit that. I'd hit that. Spent. Ooh. And uh, the heavier die. And you lost this, right? No, you got yeah, that back. Well, that's either Ooh, symbol. And a double E hit. You know what? I don't care. You got shells for days. I got I got a billion shells. And so that claims that. Oh, you got I Pikachu get as that. well. <laughs> and I keep the die because reasons. Collecting moats is kind of like an addiction, right? If you well, see like a high yeah. train going on, you're like, oh my god. Gotta, yeah. gotta give some bits so I can get the moat unlocked. Even if you don't even know what the emote is. The bush with eyes. I thought it was a... It could be a bush. could be a booger. It's, I think... I'm pretty sure. I think what they said was a thousand bits because that was the lowest they could set it at. That's quite a bit. But I want it. Yeah, I it want it. Bit. All right. I did it. You did it. We did it. It's done. Yep. And I've done nothing this entire fracking game. Sweet. No, it's really Sweet. bad. Sweet. Sweet, dude. Do I get pushes for these? I don't. You did for this one anyway. I. That's where the. I haven't gotten them. Well, I need. I probably have. need to get my pushes. You should have gotten one for this and this. I thought you. You definitely uh, got a. Uh, no. Oh, oh, oh! Those pushes, yeah, definitely. I did not get these pushes. Yeah, definitely. I, I, I did now. Not that it matters because it doesn't get me anywhere. But. I don't see how I'm gonna get my goal at all. So yay. Uh, yeah, I'm nowhere. I'm, I'm nowhere close. I'm nowhere close to my goal. And here's round four, right? Uh, I guess I'm semi uh, close. Well, I mean, you are <laughs> to the lower level of my goal, <laughs> but even still, it's not looking. I mean, good. You, yeah, she says it's not looking good. Yet she's the one that's ahead on every track. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Yeah, give me one of your bits. Bit. Because yeah, you're killing us, and yeah. you've you've got these, and I mean I've got a two, a one, a one, a one. You got a two, a two, a one, and a one. So you're one point ahead here. You're two points ahead here. You're three points ahead here. We're at best tied right here. But you went over here. You should have used more dice. 
Then you'd have a ton more hit points. I want you to... Uh, uh, you, they can't see it. However, I'd like you to direct your attention <laughs> to my used dice area. <laughs> yeah. You mean those dice? <laughs> these dice over here, right? Right. These dice? Yeah. Yeah, these dice aren't here. Right, they're not. These, di these dice, these dice aren't here. I'm going to upgrade these two. I'm going to upgrade this one. What do you mean these two? You get two? I'm not resilient. What kind of crap two. is that? You're at resilient two. So, what are you upgrading the white to? Red and the next blue. Well, then that, you got to tell me this because you could have just kept the blue. Yeah, but I, I didn't. But you didn't. Exactly. You just didn't. Nope. Oh, did I take? I didn't take that. Ugh. Or did I take that? I don't know. One, and I had three. That was for the challenge. No. One, and I had two. I think I am supposed to just be there. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, crap. I have to upgrade. I did upgrade one of these. That one was this one that I upgraded. All right. Big plans, big plans, people. Big plans. Him. Mm. I'm short. Short people got. No reason. Mm, mm, mm. You said him. Uh, well, mm, mm, mm. we're not done. Uh, put that back. Uh, invasion. Three. He invades, but I mean, it doesn't really matter because he has none, so it doesn't matter. Uh, he rolls off. He rolls down. Pull these back. One comes out. Um. Yeah, I don't guess you lose one on the track either. Why? Oh, same same. Rules. It's the same. It's the same rules. Minus one of the champion track if you have fewer than. How many were? The doofus. Oh, that's so. Yeah. I mean, the combat is not terribly great. All right. Roll the challenge now for him. Mm, purple four. Purple four. One, two, three, four. Wow. Uh, I need a thingy. Thingy, my jiggy, my jiggy. All right. He is where he is. Uh, he goes up two. Yeah, I can't even stay ahead of Frackhead. You. Me. Okay, well that's actually good. What do I want? I need, <coughs> need a blue dye, I guess. Blur. Blur. I'm gonna go to the crimson blue dye. Yeah, I'm like, <laughs> I don't know what the crimson blue is. I don't know what it's called. And a card, please, a stunt card. And maybe that will actually help me. Yeah, maybe another dime. And I'll spend my orange. So you get an extra something. Let's fight this baddie. And there's people there, so I get to use this to auto instead. Yep. Oh, he, mo he moved up too. Mm-hmm, he did, sadly. He's just I chasing me. I two green and... I agree, Quicksand. Two green and a red. How about one green, two green, and a yellow? And a shell. I shouldn't have done this. Whose choice was this? this uh, was a horrible, it, horrible mistake. Uh, because you're rolling the... Oh, you rolled the wrong die. No, that was the right die. Oh, you do roll the, that die. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. So, there's like one blank space on it. So, I don't know what you were doing. Yeah. Mistakes were made. Oh, that's spent. Girly girl. Spent. And this is dead? I took a chance. And it failed. Wow. I forgot I didn't have any shells. Mistakes were made. <laughs> you forgot you didn't have... I forgot I had no shells. Wow. <laughs> blink, blink, I just blink. Had, I had, I had a mission, and it was to do this card. But then you were, like, focused, laser focused on that mission. And nothing else. <laughs> and nothing else. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that was bad. All right. That would be level three. I get a level three die. Oh, wait, no. It's a level four die. 
Is that shields? Yeah. Uh, do I actually want to use this thing? I don't think I want to use it. Because I would end up losing it. Yeah, I got problems. I got problems. Well, like, this is like a no-brainer for me. Because I, I roll it. Well, now I don't have to set it. But I could have got, spent my, did my move. And then set it to any face, which that is going to kabam. Yeah. I'm going to get an instant two pushes. Yeah. Chasing you. Not that it, well, it no, does matter. You're to you. clearly going to win this game. So. Uh, I don't. You have a million dice and a million resources, and I've got diddly and squat. <laughs> so. Diddly and squat. I don't want to hear it. Oh, my goodness. All right. I think I have... Um, oh, this pushes me two. Oh, I was supposed to refresh two dice. Yeah. Boy, why don't I, why don't I do that? Okay. Um, without knowing what else I'm going to do. I could guild up. Guild up. <laughs> guild up. I know, that, I know what that is. Guild up. Gonna guild up. <laughs> <laughs> Yellow four doesn't exist. Yellow four doesn't exist. He comes over here and what and cracks four spots. One, two, three, four. I can get as many as him in order to reduce spirit by two notches and loot. Oh, no. Advance any trait by one notch and gain an elite die. Blah. But you'd also get a kill bonus. I would get the kill bonus. You're correct. Uh, he's going to go up one. Yeah. Just for doing me. a hit on it. Oh. God, I really wasn't planning on going down there and taking him out. How are you supposed to advance on these tracks? So hard. <coughs> mm -hmm. I'll do this. That gives you two oranges and a challenge? Yeah. They're all bad. Two oranges and a challenge. And I have a card to play. And you have a card to play. It says, when I visit here i gain move the boat forward extra spaces equal to your spirit trait level two more spaces a die and a push all right a die please which one you want oh a, this a it has to be this die. how about one of those die. dice and then i'm done i get to refresh all my dice oh that's right and i have to advance one of my things but i'm working on it i'm figuring it out Oh, I can get another power, but does it really matter? Or should I try and do other things? I don't know. I don't know. I should try. Man up. In order for me to get more dice, I'm going to have to refresh all my dice. This card's not happening. And then try to get challenges, I guess. He's over here. Yeah, he was at the bottom spot over there. What? You, I think you took the disc when you moved him originally. Oh, because you didn't give me a disc. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. Um, one, two, three, four. Yeah. He can kill that Karakeen. Nice. I'm hoping he doesn't kill that Karakeen. What Matt, happened? you did well with your emotes. I wanted that little dude playing the mandolin. I never got All the him. 2020 was wow. I didn't get him. I just, these are all the hype train ones that I managed to pick up in the past, like, month. <laughs> all right, so I got two options. I can go here, get all my dice, and get a couple of challenges. But I don't think, I, I don't think getting challenges is where I'm going to succeed. I think the best thing I can do... 
is to just use all those refreshed dice to just hammer the monsters. You could go here and get back three dice. Uh, I would get back three dice. But that's only three dice. Um, let's see. Two oranges will push up my... Well, in order for me to roll more dice, I gotta have the fruit, so I can't really just spend my fruit willy nilly. Willy or nilly. Nope. No willy nillies. Uh, that does give me a point. Man up. I like the little fighty dudes. <laughs> the little fighty dudes are cool. Well, you don't lose points by not completing your challenges, I think. I think the emotes do uh, reset because uh, if you hover over it or if you right click it or something, it says limited time. So I don't know when they reset, but I do think they reset and I'm sad because I don't want them to reset. <laughs> <laughs> I spent hard earned time and effort to find these emotes. <laughs> yes, you did. The LOL frog. Uh oh. Check the floor. Check the floor. Are you kidding me? It's still rolling. Excuse me, while I go under the Watch table. Watch out for that huge box. Oh my god. Nope, I'm not gonna make it. I can do it if you need me. Yeah, you're gonna have to. It's under the Christmas tree chair. Okay, I got it. Like all the way under the Christmas tree chair. Uh, yeah, you can still have the Christmas tree up. Because, I mean, why take it down, right? Boca. You get Boca lighting. Boca, Boca licious. Boca licious. Check the floor. So there's not an easy way for me to refresh my dice. Is the is the thing. And I don't think going here helps me much. It it might help me get a point, but it's still unsure. Probably get more points by just having the. Uh, Fruit. I'm I'm gonna have to just get all my dice and then spend them as I can. That's six refreshed dice, and I might as well bring these out for something. Man up. <laughs> <laughs> Got your man up. Uh, do these refresh as I pull them? I think they do. Oh man, I never got that dumpster fire. Sure got. I love that dumpster fire. I agree. <laughs> oh. Well, they're the wrong colors, but whatever. Oh, well, I'm not going to get I'm not going to get that I'm not going to get enough of those anyway, so why bother? Bruh. <laughs> I am 1 point down on that. I could still try it. <laughs> Trey's like, I have too many emotes. I need to hide them. <laughs> you know what? I wish you could hide one, hide them because I don't care for those K-pop ones. The K-pop, so. I don't care for. Or the Him. other, What? Him. Or the other kind. The I forget what it is. Two. Two. Bread. It is available, oh, so man. he is not going to kill that the one I wanted. That was my space. What? It was your space, and now that's there. Language. Sorry. <laughs> now what? No. What if my son comes on and, and listens to you cursing like a sailor on this channel? It wasn't Hold me. On. It wasn't you. He's not on here. Oh, man. Man. Spider Brand actually visits the channel. What am I doing? Spider Brand. Spider Brand. Does whatever a spider can. I can also do that. Hanging out on the web. I need shells. Like, whoa. <laughs> like these shells? <laughs> the look on your face. <laughs> uh, I, can go I hate K-pop, and now I'm stuck with it forever. <laughs> <laughs> I've got one that says Hyperspace 2020 emotes or something. What is it called? Hyper. No, Hyperscape emotes. I've got an infinity symbol like this. I don't even know where I got this thing from. 
It's the oh, only yeah. one in that I don't category. Like the hyper, I, the it's only, just sitting there. You I only mean, have one. I have like five of those. I've got one. I, I mean, even, I like the infinity symbol, but I like, where no is it from? I have no idea where I got those. I have no idea. Wow. Maybe it was. Maybe it was the thing that happened before the K-pop and before the hindsight. It was. Yeah, it was the first thing I got on Twitch. Yeah. Whenever that happened. And was I, like, was I was like, what's this? I had no idea what's what this? it was. What's, what's this? this? What's the beep, beep, boop, boop, boop? It just says your turn. Oh, I could get. I could get. Last two, last two actions uh, of the game, actually. I know. That's why I'm like critical thinking time. This is critical thinking time. Oh, but if I do that, then I only have one orange. It was a promotion a while back for a video game release. Oh. Oh, two orange. You know what? I've got like Twitch Prime stuff I need to like take advantage of. I have no shelves. Um, You can get shelves at the Glass Forgers Guild. Yeah. Or at Fold's Edge or the I'm inner I'm not reef. happy about it. Oh, I know you're not. I can hear it. I'm spending an orange to get more shells. For such a little creature, she makes a lot of noise. <laughs> <laughs> I'm loud. Yeah. Do you hear it? I uh, <laughs> can hear her all the way over here Back in the head. Citadel of Time. <laughs> I can hear uh, throughout the... <laughs> Shut it. Shut. That's what I want you to do. <laughs> Laura's laughing. <laughs> no. Matt says it was the free sample that the dealer gives to get you hooked. Yeah, I think he's right. <laughs> all right, I'm moving over here. I'm going to try my yeah, luck. I don't like those ones at all. All right, what am uh, I get? I get. That's a Kraken. So I get a level. I get a level two thing. Have all of these hyperspace so level? Did, what is a did, level? Did anybody answer where those came from? Because I have no idea. I get a level two thing. Okay. 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 I, I get one of these. I tell you. I tell you right now. I tell you. No. I tell you. All right. So that's one die. I need one more die. Two more die. No, one more die. Two more. One die. more die. You are not right. Yes. I'm right. Oh, quicksand answer. Okay, let me see. It was promotion a while back for a video game release. So, do they go away? <laughs> Can they go away? Oh, 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 my goodness. This is crazy crap. That's what that's, this is. That's a jackpot is what I'm seeing. No. That is fan friggin' tastic. This is awful. And by awful, you mean score. Amazing. So I get one of these and one of these. Oh my god, I'm so And one of game. these. How are you supposed to get the level? All three of these. Five points on a wheel seems like impossible. That's a kill bonus. All right, so we killed a monster. And you didn't get as many as the other dude, so I don't know if that changes things oh. any that's if the rival kills a monster no oh quicksand enlightened me and says you keep the emotes you get you just have limited time to earn them that's you didn't know that no i thought they go away i thought limited no. time means that they will go away no sub subscriptions go away subscription I emojis understand. go away okay yeah okay. these you get to keep forever oh. like my uh like your purple corgi booger. Oh, okay. I thought that was going away. I thought that was a limited time. Killing a monster rewards. All players who have hit tokens, but no, not really. Just if you have at least as many as the rival, you're going to get the reward. So, uh, the rival didn't kill it. I killed it. So, I went forward and I advance any trait by one notch and gain an elite die. What's an elite? The black? That's a black die. Elite is yeah, the that's a third, black. Third that's a level. third die. Yeah. All right. So first of all, I keep this one. Second of all, I lose these two. No. Alexa, cancel. She just started talking at us. <laughs> um. Yeah, that was odd. Um. And you know what? Well, shoot. I can spend six shells to. Refresh two dice. I have one die, but I've got a limited amount of time to use these things. So, deek, deek. No. Deek. Yeah, I'm just piling them all on now. 
I need to ditch those. Ditched. Ditched. They are ditched. But you know, what else am I going to spend these on? Right? I mean, I'm going after him this turn, so... I mean... There. I think you have so many shells. You have like a million I keep shells. visiting things to like kill the things. Yeah, that seems really good. That did not suck. No. No. I actually hope he attacks this this turn. Hmm. So, roll it. How about... No, not not that the challenge. <laughs> you didn't specify. Uh, number two. No, right? it's, a, it's a number one. A number one. Uh no. I was gonna go there. Yeah, now you're not. And the boat moves. Shit balls. <laughs> My last turn. All right, I guess I'm gonna go try that instead. I will go get an orange over it there. Where am I? Wait, where am wait, I? Wait. Backspace those. So I need this one first, and then I need this one after. What? My disc fell over there. This one? What are you doing? The the orange space with the die on the purple board. This. I need a card. Are you gonna do something in front of the judge? Yeah. This one. I'm gonna go la la la. I'm a winner. No. I'm gonna use this because why not? Um, gain the reward that matches your spirit trait level. Two. I get two of those because, well, one more, because of the space I went on. You're not doing a good job keeping up. <laughs> I'm like, what are you getting? All right, now I'm going to go do this mm -hmm. challenge, I guess. All right, how many dice do I get? I get two plus two oranges, so I get four dice. Four challenge. Mm. And I I guess doing it in front of the judge doesn't get me a bonus. <laughs> you said doing it in front of the judge. Where's the red die? Hand it Where's over. the red die? The red what red die? Hit die or attack die by you. I'm like, you have a red die in your hand. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you, you're rainbow booger. <laughs> Is, is running away from the big Pokemon. And, yeah. Oh, that's horrible. That's bad. Can Why can't you roll that? well? Because I suck at this game. <laughs> it's not sucking at the game. Yeah. No. Well, you need two shields. I do. Oh, you got it. As long as you spend two. Well, you don't even have to spend those two. So, it. what does it matter, right? Yeah, I got it. You did get it. And, and I got the last one. And Boop. you and you pushed it. Push it. All right, so you beat it in front of the judge. Mm. Did yeah, you didn't you did do that. I paid for it. All right. And then you get two pushes on green, two pushes on red. That's exactly what I need. Exactly. 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 <laughs> He's squirting him in the butt and he's going, oh! <laughs> <laughs> and then the octopus hits it on the butt and he goes, oh! oh. <laughs> I think Derek might need to change its mouth <laughs> to a smiley or something. <laughs> he had a few different faces on the ones that... Oh! Oh! <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh. <laughs> Pika! <laughs> Pika! Oh! <clears throat> I, I guess the best thing for me to do is to get more shells that to make Steph jealous. And that is going to be a level two monster level two die. Plus one more level is a level three red die. <laughs> Come on, that's so mean. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. Why did that oh, not Oh, Shrey's playing with it now. The little oh. Santa He's so cute. He's so cute. <laughs> oh, 
<laughs> I smacked him on the K pop spanking him on the butt. Ah, nom nom nom. Alright, so oh. that's my free die. I get two dice. I have to spend three more. Three more to roll all my dices. Dices. Cause it's like this is the last thing, right? Am I wow. right? Wow. That's two symbols there. That's one symbol there. That's one symbol there. That's one symbol there. That's one symbol you there. Completed I completed it. I completed it. Had a die left time. over. Wow. Yeah. So that's uh, one, two, three, four. Rainbow Kirby, five. I love him. All right, so I'm going to put these five here because that's where they go. I get one for killing, and what is the thing? This is, you got six. I got six. Not five. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, I got six. Six. Yeah, Michael absolutely destroyed this game. Advance any trait by two notches. Don't mind if I do. That's how you uh, get to the top of your trait tracks. Well, let me let me get my point. Let me get my traits here. That's one push. That's three pushes. That's two pushes. Uh, advancing any one by two, that's going to be my best. Pushing that to a four. Yeah. That's a lot of points. That's a lot of pushes. Um, I keep, not that it matters, I keep that one and lose all the rest. Because I fought a monster. Because that's what you do. Last little bit of glory. Glory, glory. I never got to use. Yeah, you still won. The the push it on a two. No, I used the I used to push it on a two symbol challenge once, once, and I might as well gain the rewards on this spirit level. It's a die. Not that it matters. I mean, matters. I wouldn't have gotten it if I had done it earlier. I wouldn't have gotten the bonus die. Nor could I have rolled it because I didn't have enough free, so it didn't matter. Well, I barely made it to that six. And we tied on this. So I think we get five divided, rounded down, which is two. Yep. There is a score sheet. If you would like to use it, you can. Oh, is there a score it's sheet? in the box. It's in the box. I'll have to go dig into dig, it. Dig, dig, All dig, All right. Dig, so, dig, dig, wait, dig. there are, there are, I don't think there's end game stuff because there's not, there's nothing left to invade. I mean, it really... I think, that's it. I, I, think it, I think that's basically it. That's about it. Now we score. I don't see it. It's it's underneath the players. Yeah, those. It's under that. Oh hey, check this fantastic thing out. There you go. Well, I thought you had me, and then all of a sudden, here's a pen. I had a lot. All right, that's an M for a mic. Uh, that's an winning. S, and that's an M. Score the points on each completed challenge. How about a big four? Um, nine. Nice. Score the total of the highest points on each trait dial. You're not going to like this. Seven. Yeah. Four. All right. First, second, third. Two and two. Score the highest this past and the leader bonus. Six for me, nine for you. Score one per monster hit. One million for Michael. Two for Steph. I mean, you're ahead by four in this category and three in this category. So, I mean, I've got to be significantly ahead. I think you're still going to win. Hey, it's my number. 13. Score either 7 or 10 if completed. No, I had no choice. Score for 7 resilience, 4 resilience challenges. Or 5 resilience challenges. I got, you know how many resilience challenges I've completed? One. One resilience challenge. I had no, I wasn't close. I got 7. You did? Yeah, you might win. 3 trait dials at level 3. Right? I managed it. 7-0. Variant gain points on market cards, outcast tokens. Neither of us are behind him. Right. 
Um, so no variance. It's going to be close. It'll be close. You still win. Good job. 13. What? You don't know. 13, 7, 20, 26, 28, 32. That's a low score. Wow. 9, 18, 20, 24, 26, and 7. 33. Oh, my God. She says that I won, but she did win. I did win? You did win. Look at that. Yeah. Unless I miscounted. I don't know how you're supposed to get to three level four tracks. How are you supposed to get, like, three of them at four? It seems really hard. I got, I almost got three of them to level four. I almost got four of them to level four. But doesn't that seem hard? Yeah, it does. But, I mean, really if it hard. were easy, everybody would get it. Oh, my God. Did I enjoy Tidal Blitz? Yeah, I think it's interesting. Uh, yeah. I think two players is a little weird. I, the the rival makes it weird. You have to sort of time, oh, is he going to kill that monster? Do I need to swoop in and kill the monster? And I, thought, I think that's why it shines at three player. I can't tell you why it seems to fail at four player according to BGG. BGG. Uh, 40%, uh, two out of five people said not recommended mm. at four player. Oh, hey, thanks for cheering, Matt. Woohoo! Woo Thank you. Bring. So I, I don't, I don't know. We need to up our game on, on the cheering, like how, uh, you know, the, the one channel has the pumpkin man. Um, one channel has um, that's the pumpkin man. Yeah, one channel. Uh, uh, one channel has the um, like. I remember the brothers Murph has the little guy coming out the bottom top of the screen going, oh, going dang, dang. So we'll certainly, that. there's something that we can do to add some. Better sound. But, um, yeah, I like this. I, I, I don't, I don't know. I don't like it as much as quicksand. That's for sure. Um, you could take the score off. Oh yeah. And um, yeah, I, I, uh, it's one I would like to play more to see if I like it more after several plays. Um, and I'm hesitant to bring out the advanced monster specifically because we're playing it two players and I don't like how the rival moves with with fighting. And fighting with two players, you almost can't kill them until the very end. I mean, the easy monsters are not that easy. They got six Even things still, on there. Yeah, the easy... And you can't afford the dice early on. You just can't. Uh, Quicksand says it is better with advanced. I mean, we, we played with the advanced We did market play with cards. advanced... Uh, which I liked. I definitely like the market cards better. Those seem interesting. Um, yeah. Crystal has board game blitz sing, sang to ballroom blitz. Da, 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 da. Rel is analog, yeah. Where, you know, he, he does his manual gotta, ray helmet, that. which I love. <laughs> We're, we are analog. We've got the, the rainbow booger. He's our mascot. He's our mascot. But I, I don't know. I think we think we gotta. We need to bring more entertainment. I think. You gotta bring the entertainment, man. You gotta bring it. You gotta bring it. Oops. What did you do? <laughs> you did something. Breaking things. I'm breaking things. Well. Breaking anything else you want to add before we 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 cut to cleanup time? Um. Yeah, I I like it. Uh, as you guys know, I mean, it made number two on my best games of December list. That's right. So I mean it. I don't think it. I don't think it is terrible by any means because no. you know, I, I enjoy it. I love dice chucking. Uh, I love dice mitigation where you can manipulate dice and whatnot. Mm -hmm. um, but I, I, it could be much better two player. The reason I rated it so high is because I think it shows a lot of promise at three player when it gets played at three player. Sure. Um, I don't think this will be my go to game for a. Uh, for a worker placement, monster kill, dice chucking game, um, at two player, specifically because I, I, I want to like what the rival does. The rival does a great job of moving around and blocking spaces, but the monster killing part doesn't scale as well as I think it should. 
Um, other than that, I mean, I think I, I like what the game is doing. So, and you see how close it was. Two totally different playing styles. Yeah, I was um, doing something totally different. I, I think it may be different based on the, char- the character abilities true. you draw. Do you feel it was different with this? Yeah. Different I character. like these character abilities. I really like I what too. the character abilities do. I like the different goals. I like how the tracks move up and that you get different things for each track. I think that is fantastic. And that's this is one of the reasons I like this game. Is because if you advance on the spirit track, you're going to be wanting to get more of those... Um, those more of stunt the cards. stunt cards. Right. It, it, I think advancing on the resilience track is fantastic no matter who you are because you get to fetch those dice back every single time. Right. Well, I, you know you know what? I, you know what though? I think the game ends too early. That's what I was just going to say. I'm like I think that 5 rounds would be better. 4 rounds 5 rounds would be better cuz I could work on doing just a, a couple more things that I wanted to do. Uh, so I can see why you like 5 rounds quick with quicksand because i i mean i feel like i could use another round but i I think that that is how games have trended the past i'd say the past three to five years is the push for faster and faster and faster games i i get it financially i don't get it as a player i'd rather play one fantastic four-hour game than one than four mediocre one-hour games i just you know, why does it have to be quantity? Have enjoyment well, of those four hours. Four fantastic hour-long games. Except you've got set up and tear down of four hour-long games, it's and nice. it's four distinctly, probably four distinctly different, different playthroughs, and it's you just don't get the build-up in an hour-long game. You just don't. Yeah. People are going. What's the best one-hour-long Civ game? You're not going to have a good one hour long Civ game, Civ building game with a great 4X type of building up of a civilization. It doesn't exist because you can't do it in an hour. I mean, I agree, but you can do it in like four hours. It doesn't have to be like a long 12 hour mega Civ. No, it doesn't. Game, but there is a place. But, but there saying. is a place for that, which you don't even know. You haven't played it yet. Whatever. When you play it, then you can say it. All right. <laughs> we'll be back. We'll be back in a sec. 